Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. I hope you're doing well. The title on my thumbnail reads, Don't Believe the Mirror. Now, we're not talking about this sort of mirror. We're talking about the newspaper, the Daily Mirror. Um, here, um, I saw a tweet uh, yesterday, I think it was, uh, or maybe in this morning, um, from Adam Brooks, who uh, he, he's on GB News, talks quite a bit of sense, and he's brought about masks don't work as it says Brit, Brits urge to wear masks as experts experts sheds new light on China's mystery virus so I thought I'd have a look and see and um, first of all I would say it, if it's in the mirror or the Guardian um, I just wouldn't believe it at all in normal terms I just kind of ignore those papers because they're such sort of left-wing uh, bordering on communist type rags um, I don't even trust the normal mainstream media but it's certainly in the mainstream media the mirror and uh, the Guardian are probably the worst publications uh, for, for news so um, that's just my opinion um, so it says China virus Brit Brits urged to wear masks as expert, take the note of the word expert, sheds new light on mystery surge. And uh, it, it goes on to say it is important to closely monitor the new COVID like illness sweeping through China amid fears of a surge in cases and thousands of children with respiratory illnesses, an expert has warned. Um, Hospitals throughout the country are treating high numbers of youngsters for illnesses, including pneumonia, but officials have denied the outbreak is due to a virus and say there has been no new pathogen detected and that children do not appear to be much sicker than usual. So um, that kind of wipes that out. Um, and uh, then it says, Dr. Bruno Sylvester, something, a lecturer in microbiology, biology from Teesside University said it is difficult to say whether the situation could be replicated across the UK. So he's saying it could be difficult to say but the mirrors said Brits urge to wear masks. Doesn't quite add up. Um, so um, he said up to date surveillance related to the current situation is necessary so it can, can evaluate any emerging patterns and trends related to disease if at all it emerges as a threat so it doesn't seem like he's that serious about it um, obviously a picture of China probably all with masks on but the Chinese seem to be love wearing masks now I put a um, just going up down here it's talks it was talking about experts and uh, anyway, it doesn't matter but it, it talks about the experts and the reason I, I refer to experts is do you remember when the so-called um, spam pandemic was on as I call it these these ministers many familiar faces here standing up and saying what we couldn't what we can't do many of them should really be behind bars now but for, for being so dishonest but that is another subject and I see a lot of fear-mongering and um, I never agreed with wearing masks and um, because I was always told that unless you've got a really sort of heavy-duty type special mask it makes no difference and the fact is that we are a creation of God and um, he made the human body in such an amazing way um, our nose is like a filter now, the only time I've really wore a mask is when um, I was on the farm and we used to cl clean out grain bins when there was a excessive dust, um, which is a different thing altogether. But in normal terms, no, no one walks around wearing a mask, although there are still people walking around in masks in the UK. Um, I don't quite understand why, um, because it gives so, so little uh, diddle pr protection. Anyway, we have good news. Despite the experts and all their expert wrong opinions, we have good news because in the Bible it mentions that words like fear and do not be afraid are mentioned 365 times. So that's uh, one verse for every day. And um, yet we've got these people here who are out there, this paper here, give, giving out all sorts of fear mongering and untruths. Thankfully, we don't have to rely on the media. Um, 
if you're a Christian, your faith should be in Jesus and every and the finished work of the cross. And I was looking at a few scriptures, um, Psalm fifty fifteen, and it says, "Call upon me in the day of trouble; I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me." How amazing that. Um, you know, it's wonderful we don't have to call on politi politicians. We can call on the name of Jesus, and he will he will answer us. And um, he knows what we're going through. And um, for those with a firm foundation and a firm faith, we know that Jesus hears our requests. And um, if we have faith in him, if we move on to Isaiah 41, quite a popular passage, Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. More confirmation that we can call on that name. And it, it is well. Um, this is a very popular verse. Um, 2 Timothy 1.7 um, Comes under the heading, Timothy's faith and heritage. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind so when we got born again God didn't give us a spirit of fear he hasn't given us a spirit of fear anyway but he's given us a sound mind and power and love how, how amazing is that what, what a difference from this headline uh, Brits urged to, to wear masks as expert sheds new light on mystery surge let's just go to Ephesians 6 12 to 13 and let's talk about the whole armor of God and uh, it says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of, of this darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places or maybe we could rewrite that for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against newspapers like the Daily Mirror, the Guardian, uh, politicians and so forth and that's basically, basically what it means and then if we go on to verse 13 it says therefore take up the whole armour of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand so we look at the this news and if we you know we really start taking it in you know a virus coming another virus um, lots of fear but if we stand on the word of God and the promise of the word uh, promises of God it just changes everything I wouldn't like to be someone who's looking looking at the news all day and worrying about what's going on because um, we need to remember who we are in Christ and that Jesus finished his work on the cross and uh, died for our sins and the fact is he's coming back soon and um, if we believe in him he's given us the wonderful gift of eternal life now I've got one more scripture here Romans 8 to 15 uh, in fact I might read from 14 it's got sonship through the spirit for as many are, for as many as are led by the spirit of God these are sons of God for you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear but you received the spirit of adoption by, by whom we cry out Abba Father isn't it amazing that, that the Christian has been adopted by Jesus and uh, we, we can come to him we, we don't need to have a, have a spirit of bondage to fear but we can come to him now maybe you're watching this and you're not a Christian and um, you'd like to be and uh, I said this prayer around 26 years ago and uh, Jesus died to set the captives free he came to give eternal life and he offers not only eternal life so much more peace and uh, a wonderful life but we need to believe in him so if you'd like if you're not a Christian and you'd like to say this prayer after me which goes dear Lord Jesus I acknowledge you as Lord and Savior of my life I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen and if you said that prayer and you meant it it means you have been born again and it means the Spirit of God can come and reside within you and um, Obviously for all of us, not only new Christians, it's important we read the word. I'm reading from the Bible Gateway. There's many resources online and apps you can use in, on your phone, but this is well, one that I prefer. But like I say, there's many others. But it's also important if you can get in a good church and a small group, as small groups have to bring you on, encourage you, get around good people. And just make sure you get around a strong gospel. 
uh, a strong a strong sorry a strong church that teaches a strong gospel not a watered down gospel we see so many people try, uh, trying to change the bible and water it down a bit but that's not what the bible was written as the truth it's the book of life and uh, we need to go by what the word says not by what politicians and newspapers say so if you have any questions on this video i'm here to help and encourage please feel free to comment and uh, like this video thanks very much for watching